Hey there YouTube, it's Kurt here, and today I want to talk about Josh Klinghoffer and his role in the new album, uh, which is called The Getaway, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And really, I want to point out a few things here. First, I'm going to start by saying that Josh has had a lot of criticism from a lot of hardcore Chili Peppers fans ever since John Frusciante left after their Stadium Arcadium album. Um, and really, yes, there is a big difference between the two guitarists. And that's just going to happen. John Frusciante is one of the best out there. And one thing I want to say for certain, I think this album really moves Josh Klinghoffer up in the ranks of how well he's done like as a musician in general. After this album, I think that the comparisons need to kind of stop. And the biggest reason for that is I feel like his role in this album has stepped up significantly between the last album. The last album, a lot of people didn't like. It still had a lot of popularity, but like we were wanting more. We were wanting the more Frusciante sound. Well, for the people that wanted that, there is some very good rhythm guitar playing in this album. Um, my favorite song when it comes to the rhythm was The Longest Wave, and it has, um, that song has some amazing rhythm in, into it, and it has some very melodic guitar parts that ha are using the neck pickup, and they sound, they sound beautiful. And they sound more into the era of where Frusciante was doing his best stuff. So yeah, there's that aspect of they're clearly incorporating him more, and I think they're doing that partially in response to fans. But it's done in a very good way, and it's and I think it should shut up a lot of criticism. Now, is a lot of it exactly like Frusciante's playing? No. Frusciante did a lot harder soloing at times, and he did it with much more dexterity, and he did it uh, with much more passion sometimes. Um, that's one thing I do notice, I like it when it comes to the hard soloing part. But with this album, there's a lot more melodic soloing, and he really fits that role of melodic soloing very well. So, yes, they are different guitarists, and maybe we do want that more fire in the solo part that Frusciante has, but it's not everybody can be Frusciante. But as far as what the Chili Peppers are going for, Klinghoffer is doing his job, and that's all that we can ask from him. And as far as the album as a whole, the whole album was amazing. Uh, I think it's some of their best work since the Californication album came out. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will really be impressed with the album as a whole. Uh, there's a lot more sounds that are incorporated that weren't incorporated in other albums. There's a, a significant role of the piano in this. I had a burp there. There's a significant role of the piano in this album. And uh, I feel like there's a lot of deep and catchy hooks in there. There's only one side note. The only criticism I have is like, the, pe the Chili Peppers don't age. Is <laughs> They... They always keep a similar sound, it's like they always sing about similar stuff, and kind of one thing I want, and it's not, it's not a terrible criticism or anything, but it's like I want kind of more out of depth out of uh, Anthony um, in his songwriting sometimes. And it's not like it's shallow, but like I want him talking more about his view on life and over the course of his like 30 year music career. Maybe he's singing about that in, uh, in subliminal messages throughout his poetry, but in a certain way I do want him to kind of ex talk more directly about it. Because, um, I don't know, there's a certain dimension I think we're missing out of a band that's been there for 30 years. Um, but in no means is that make them bad. This album is still fantastic and I significantly recommend going and listening to it and going and buying the album. Um, yeah, if you like the music, buy the album. That's a great way to support it. Even though, you know, they're mega rich. It's what happens. But at least they're still playing their instruments. And that's the best thing we can ask for out of a lot of today's music. Um, but yeah, if you have any thoughts about uh, Klinghoffer and his playing on this album, uh, yeah, feel free to talk about it. Uh, but in my opinion, like, they're, like, while it wasn't involved in every song that there was, um, yeah, there are four songs that really rely heavily on a lot of guitar parts. I listened to The Longest Wave, there was Goodbye Angels, there was Sick Love, and there was Encore. That's four songs! That's four songs that's relying heavily on a rhythmic guitar part. And, uh, and obviously he's doing soloing in a lot of the, the other songs. So he has stepped up his role significantly in this album, in my opinion. Um, you feel free to disagree with that, but I really like this album. And I feel like the Chili Pepper fan base will like it too. So yeah, if you like this video, uh, give it a like, subscribe, all that other stuff. But I really appreciate the view, guys. And I appreciate your opinions too. Like, I like just talking about their musical style. 
A lot of people don't even fucking play their instruments. Like, it's such a, a rare but beautiful thing um, to see that and do it and see it played in a melodic way. That's what I should say. A lot of people are just thrashing their instruments nowadays, but they aren't uh, taking time to view the songwriting, I think. But that's just my opinion, uh, and that's just me being arrogant and thinking I have a great opinion. But yeah, that's all I got, guys, so I'll catch you later. A cigarette is on your plate.